Hello everyone and welcome to my second how to improve a spy video. Today I wanted to talk about the invis watch and how important it is to manage your cloak. The watch I'd like to talk about today is also my favorite, the stock invis watch. With the invis watch equipped, every time you right click your mouse, you become invisible for 10 seconds. It'll take 20% less damage overall, and effects like afterburn and jurati last half as long. I highly recommend pairing it with a Letrange though as that gives you another 4 seconds of cloak time. When using the Invis Watch, pay attention to any ammo packs laying on the ground. Each medium ammo pack gives you an additional 5 seconds of cloak time. Watch how long I can stay cloaked by doing this. That's quite a bit longer than 10 seconds. If you can manage your cloak properly, you can walk across the entire map unseen. As the spy, it's very important for you to learn how to predict enemy movements so you can successfully sneak around them. Notice here how I go very wide around this corner, because I don't want to bump in anyone that's coming around it. Since I did get bumped, I'm looking around to make sure that no one noticed. No one seems to be looking for me, so I decide I'm going to try to pick this sniper. Normally you'll want to decloak closer to a player that you're trying to kill, but I knew this sniper would have heard me if I did that. I had to go into cloak as soon as I picked that sniper because that soldier was staring right at me. I know their team is just about to push this corner, so I go into cloak early and then I try to get to the high ground here. The soldier's about to be distracted by my team pushing up, so it's safe to come out of cloak and go for the stab here. And since there's some more easy targets available, I go right back into cloak and make my way back in. A little while later, I noticed they had a teleporter. Watch how you can get all the way back to the enemy spawn just by using good cloak management. Each of those little ammo packs I picked up gave me two seconds of extra cloak time, which gives me just enough time to get back to their spawn. People rarely spot check medics coming through teleporters. When decloaking near enemies, make sure that there's a lot of noise so that they don't hear the sound of your invis watch when you decloak. Every time you decloak to go in for a stab, you want to have an exit strategy. You don't want to linger around an area too long after you've killed someone. The two best tips I can give any new Spire player is 1. Don't be seen, and 2. Don't be heard. Here I go for a stab, but I decloak right behind a pyro and he hears me, so he turns around and starts spraying fire everywhere. In this clip I decloak out of sight and out of hearing range of my target. See the difference? Since their team also noticed the stab, I have to leave the area, especially since they have a pyro patrolling. Here, the blue team is focused on pushing my team back at spawn, so they're distracted, so it's safe for me to come out. Their medic even overhealed me while I stabbed their heavy. Now this will essentially come down to game sense and practice, but watch how by predicting the enemy movements I'm able to successfully get behind their entire team here. Remember, every time you decloak, you're risking your life, so pick out your target beforehand. As a spy, one of your main jobs will be sapping buildings, but you should treat it just like trying to kill a player. Get in and get out as fast as you can. Don't feel bad if you die a lot as spy. Even good spies get caught out. At the very least, you can always try for the trick stab. And with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you like these tips and want more, drop a like. Have fun, and peace out.